Well, I have my massive, giant, insane, epic Sephora haul to share with you guys in this video. As usual, I went crazy and placed massive orders and majority of it arrived. There are still some on the way, but majority of them are here and I couldn't wait to share with you guys. Okay, look at the big, they're so heavy, so heavy. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. They're heavy, yes you guys, it's an insane haul. I have for you lots of fragrances, a lot of new releases. I have hair care, body care, makeup, makeup tools, what have you. I have every category, a lot of items to share with you. So without further delay, let's jump right into this haul. Hi my lovely people, welcome back to another fabulous video. I have a gigantic, insane Sephora haul for you. I've got one, two, three, four, five fragrances, five fragrances. Actually, there are more coming on the way. So there's a couple missing here in terms of fragrances. And then I have lots of like sunscreen, uh, body care, hair care, and makeup, makeup tools, all this stuff. So I think I'm going to start with the makeup this time and then work my way back to the fragrances. Fragrances would be at the end of this video. All right, so let's get started with the makeup. Okay, so I'm gonna start with complexion pro products. So I told you in my Sephora recommendations video that I was going to buy this foundation and like I needed a, a backup because I was running out and I recommended this. This is the only foundation that I recommended from the Sephora sale. Although I actually also ordered the new Prada foundation. It's still on the way. So I'm thinking about doing a Sephora haul part two. I might do a part two of this haul because I have a few items still on the way. So yeah, this is the Janessa Myricks Yummy Skin Foundation. In this video, by the way, I wanted to also mention, I am not going to show you clips of application and do the demo and everything because I'm going to be doing a Sephora try-on haul. The try-on version of this haul, when the rest of the products come, the entire uh, massive haul, I'm gonna do like a try-on version of it on my other channel, which is my dedicated makeup and beauty channel, Cleo Lux Life. So if you wanna see this put to the test, wait for that video on my other channel, subscribe to that channel so you won't miss it. So yeah, this is the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Foundation. I don't need to demo this, you guys. In this video, I'm just gonna simply share because I have too many items to be like, talking too much on each item. This is just the most beautifully hydrating, nice coverage. I know it says it's the yummy skin tint, but it's not, not a skin tint, you guys. I mean, it's got good coverage. It gives you pretty decent coverage. I would say it's like medium to full coverage. You can actually work it into a full coverage if you want but it's mostly like a medium coverage foundation which I have like acne scarring and like I have hyperpigmentation and all that and and this doesn't show anything through um, this is like very creamy if I'm not mistaken this has like niacinamide and all these like really nice skin ingredients in here as well this is one of the only few foundations other than Chanel foundations that feels like a second skin and does not itch when I put on. It feels so comfortable, stays all day. Just a fabulous, 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 fabulous foundation. I cannot tell you enough good things and I'm not the only creator 
raving about this foundation on YouTube. Then I also got something I didn't mention in my Sephora recommendations video because recommendation videos are usually about tried and true products, which I've had this product, you know, I've tried this for a long time. I've had it for a long time. This is just me, like that's just restocking. Whereas this is a new product to my, my, my collection, my makeup collection. This is the Dior uh, Forever Glow Star Filter. This is supposed to be like a primer. It's kind of like a glowy primer, you guys. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's almost like you can use it as a, almost like a foundation. I guess I will swatch some of the items so you guys can kind of see. So this one is like essentially like, almost like a serum uh, consistency. And it feels so beautiful and light on the skin and it's so cooling and hydrating. Like right now the back of my hand is feel feeling so like plump and hydrated as you can see. So it has like a light, like a tint to it. So if you want to like use this as like a um, no makeup, makeup day, sort of the light tint type thing you can do that there's like slight glow to it as you can see kind of makes your skin look healthy this can totally be used as a complexion products in itself but it's supposed to be like a primer if i'm not mistaken yeah it does say that this is supposed to be long wearing 24 hour hydration so it's in my back of my hand is still feeling so hydrated this would be like a drink of water during winter, especially it would be really nice as a primer or as a no makeup makeup skin tint type thing. And that glow is not too crazy, it's perfect. So I'm very excited to, to test that. Again, watch my trying Sephora products video where I put all of this to the test on my other channel. That one's more dedicated to makeup and beauty. I only do like, a few beauty videos on this channel this is mainly a fragrance channel but everybody likes to see Sephora hauls which is why I do them on this channel and that channel okay so the next complexion product actually this one I want to share that I bought is this say that's I think how you say that brand's name slipped tint concealer so this is supposed to be a really really good concealer I will put my shade numbers down below you guys. Um, well, actually it's right here, 10. I'm in the shade 10 right here. It looks a lot lighter in the, in the tube here because the glass or the plastic component is kind of frosted. It looks lighter than what it actually is. So let me put a little here, um, right there. So that's the color I got. And I can tell just by the back of my hand swatch right there, it's gonna be a fabulous concealer. It looks very lightweight, non-creasing, high coverage, super lightweight, thin, beautiful, still high coverage concealer. I heard rave reviews, so I just kind of rubbed it on the back of my hand there. Yeah, you see how good that is? I can tell already, I don't even have to try it on my under, under my eyes. I heard like, Ray reviews about this say concealer on YouTube so I had to try that and then I got uh, more complexion products actually here's another concealer that I got I did mention that I was gonna get this one in my recommendations video by the way if you missed it check it out I'll put the picture up here and then I'll link it down in the description box I've got the tried and true Sephora hit list in that video those are the ones that I've tried and found to be perfect, like amazing products over the years. Whereas this video is all about new stuff and my uh, replenishing items that I'm doing. Um, so you get to see all the new stuff I bought. So here is the Hourglass Concealer. This is kind of also just basically like Natasha Denona concealer type concealer, you guys. Very creamy, but lightweight and also Kind of like the say one, okay, here's that one right there, the hourglass one. Just like the say one, it seems to me like, look, it's got really good coverage, non-creasing, and very lightweight feel, feel to it. 
I can already tell this is going to be a good one too, you guys. So win, win, win situation all across the board. I got to say, you know, a few years back, I would say just not even five years ago, we didn't have very good concealers. Um, like maybe you had like one that really worked well. And now we have all these amazing concealers. Okay, and the next one is Dior Forever Glow Maximizer. These are the new Dior highlighters, liquid highlighters. Oh my god, and here is the shade I got. What is this shade name? Okay, this is in the shade Rosy. Uh, these are supposed to be like maximum like glow highlighters. That's supposed to brighten and enhance um, your complexion. I don't know about all that, but this particular shade, I know it does not look like a highlighter. It looks very, very dark. For me, this is going to be a, for my complexion, this one is most likely going to be like a blush, glowy blush-ish to me. Um, so here is the uh, swatch there, you guys. Again, I can only show you sh swatches in this video um, because I'm going to be doing a uh, testing these products video on my other channel, Cleo Lux Life. So yeah, this is most likely, and yes, this has the perfect sort of consistency to to be like a like a beautiful blush so that's how i'm going to use this or i'm going to use it like this i'm going to use one blush like all over the cheek and then use this blush towards the top part of my my skin so yeah i can't wait to try this out it comes in like four colors um i didn't i didn't want to buy the champagne i didn't want to buy you know the colors that i always buy so I'm actually going in the order, I don't know if you guys noticed, I actually got myself organized this time to different categories. I'm doing complexion products first and then I'm going to move on to blush and all that stuff like, um, well I know that's technically a blush but anyway, um, right here I have more blushes here. So I have this one right here, this is the Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom, the Easy Bake Powder in Cherry Blossom but this you guys I already have a big size one, regular size, but this is like the travel size, which I really, 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 really needed because I really like this powder for setting my under eye, but it is a giant, huge box and it's always take up so much of my makeup case uh, all the time that I was getting tired of how much space it takes. And then when I saw that they came out with this tiny size, this is perfect you guys for traveling and it has this like so you lift this thing up like that and then you twist and it's the applicator okay so like I mean it's not like I'm probably gonna not really use this but actually you can it's it's kind of like a velour puff yeah I might use that that way I don't have to bring like additional like velour puffs with me but when I'm traveling I mean so yeah I was elated to see this because I really needed a mini size of the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in Cherry Blossom which I recommended by the way in my recommendations video. Again check it out if you missed it. And then I have a bunch of blushes. There are more blushes that I bought that are still on the way. So again I will do, be doing a Sephora haul part 2 on this channel down the road. I know you guys, I forgot to tell you, I promised you a fragrance video today. Uh, it was going to be a very saucy one, but my stuff arrived, my Sephora stuff arrived so early and had to share them right away with you. So I put, postponed that other video to Thursday. Actually the saucy one will be next Sunday. Thursday is probably going to be another fragrance video. But I am very excited about these blushes, you guys. Oh my god, these look so beautiful in the pan and on skin. These are the new Rare Beauty blushes. I have three of them. In my opinion, these are the best three colors, especially for like medium to tan or a darker complexions. So this one right here is Happy, which is probably the most popular shade everybody was mentioning that shade you know that they were going to get that so here is the component just the same macron looking um, beautiful little pump plump looking packaging and look at that is that not gorgeous looking or what I actually tried this on at Sephora when I was buying this 
these look so darn ethereally it's like ethereal almost like a beautiful goddess like glow on your skin you guys i know it looks super shiny in the pan here but it's not like almost looks like a highlighter in a way kind of and you think oh it's gonna be all glittery or shiny or like highlighter like but it's not see when it goes on the skin no so this one's very light i have to actually you know use a brush and do this properly i mean fingers not gonna do justice to like you know or swatching you know i i really hate the swatching thing because that never really tells you how it's going to look like on your face so yeah absolutely beautiful that was happy and then i have here um truth uh actually that's the darkest shade so let me do love next so this is love which, which is like the next dark kind of darker shade i didn't go any lighter than uh happy because happy i think is the lightest that i want on my complexion um, so here is love okay so this is absolutely gorgeous this is supposed to be i think i said is this the one terracotta yeah i think this is the one that's supposed to look uh, like a little bit terracotta i will swatch it right next to the first shade happy so there is love so it's got more of an orangey kind of tannish terracotta hue to it but largely kind of pinkish at the, uh, also so do you see how the big difference that's very pink and that's not that's got it like a terracotta hue to it as you can see in the pan too these have like the most beautiful glow and these are made in italy if i'm not mistaken makeup made in italy is so beautiful always and this one is truth so yeah this is truth and this one is like this sort of like almost mauve slight purple and this one is I think the darker shade if I remember correctly so let me try and swatch it right there so that is truth right there um, it's actually really pretty on the skin um, this is again not gonna do justice to these blushes you guys these look so pretty on the face you're gonna have to catch my you know like try on video if you really want to see how these look on the face and yeah so next i want to share with you my eye products i think um including eyeshadow palettes of course i got ah, the two new creme formula the creme eyeshadow quads from tom ford these are so freaking beautiful you guys this one is amber bronze this is my favorite unfortunately in transit one of the shadows kind of came loose i had to push it back into the pan so it's not gonna look all pretty uh, as it did uh, when it first arrived uh, i was a little annoyed that that it happened to it um this one like this shadow was a little loose but i had to like kind of stick it back in okay so let me swatch it that shadow that particular shadow i just showed you super delicate um, just a word of uh, advice uh, be careful with that shadow so right there it's not gorgeous this is like a almost like a wet look you guys these creme shadows they're so pretty um, just to show you that's what it looks like on the finger isn't that gorgeous this on all over the island <sighs> Whew, it's gonna be hot okay I love 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 the creme formula and, and let me show you the swatches of a couple of others i need to go wash my hands already you guys so this is one of the other shades Isn't that looking gorgeous look at that look at that look at that look at that it's so delicious i love these tom ford creme formula quads you guys they're absolutely divine and here's the other one that i got this is iconic smoke which is another new quad creme formula quad so here it is i'm trying not to mess it up after this i need to go wash my hands you guys so i can swatch anything else that i have to swatch because my little hands are basically is not the most gorgeous 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 color story it's got this sort of smoky purple mauve type okay so this is one of the beautiful shimmer shades isn't that absolutely gorgeous let me try and swatch one of the um non-shimmery shades look at that oh my god this is gonna give me the most gorgeous 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 eye look you guys oh my gosh 
I am so excited. Okay, I'm gonna do the last eyeshadow palette or face palette actually and then go wash my hands off. So this is Natasha Denona's Hyper Natural Face Palette. This is her newest palette and this is actually a midi palette also like a, one of the smaller palettes she released which I'm loving that she's doing that. Okay, look at how gorgeous, gorgeous this looks. Do you see that? Do you see that right there? Oh my God, that looks so beautiful. Look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is supposed to be a face palette. So these are like blushes and these are like bronzers almost, but these can also be used as eyeshadows. So it's actually a palette where you can use this as blush or eyeshadow or these as bronze or eyeshadow and these are all purely eyeshadow obviously it seems like uh, one of them is a uh, the one i just showed you that is definitely a shimmer shade and then there are some satin finishes and matte finishes oh this one is like her uh, cream to powder i think this one and it's also kind of a sheet got a sheen oh my god this is so pretty so pretty you guys i mean look at that actually they all have a bit of a sheen to it actually so none of them are really truly a matte shade at all so um yeah so there those are one of the, uh, some of the like the non super shiny ones now that one is like the super shiny one right there absolutely beautiful oh my gosh i am so excited to try this one and then i bought this grande lash mascara so this is like by the brand that Grande Cosmetics, like the one that has like lash serum and everything to grow lashes. So I was intrigued. So this is supposed to again be good for like the growth of your lashes and health of your lashes. So I was very intrigued by it. Um, I don't know just how good the mascara will actually look. I know it'll help with the lash growth and all that, but will it actually look good? I don't know. So I gotta put it, I, I'm, I gotta say this brush looks too skinny for my taste. I like a thicker, more fluffy brush that has like an hourglass shape, which always proves to be like the best type of shape for a brush. But I don't know, this had good reviews, so let's try and see, okay? Um, so yeah, that's that. And then I got, these are all replenish items, uh, precisely my brow pencil. You guys know the story, I've talked a million times about this. This is like my favorite brow pencil it has like the finest little tip and it like makes like the tiniest little hairline type strokes which really help your brows to look natural favorite 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 brow pencil in the world um but i did buy different type of brow pencils brow products this time so this one i also bought uh, this is from the um valentino cosmetics um this is like a very interesting thing this is pretty large actually long one side is the spoolie to comb your brows and this is actually one of those brow brushes like you know like you can draw hairline strokes with it so yeah it, it had really high reviews and it looks very promising i do wish though instead of, instead of a spoolie the other end was a precisely my brow pencil type of tiny brow pencil so i can have best of both worlds like you know do the brow pencil towards the end of tail of my brow and then do the little brush uh, hairline strokes with the brush towards the beginning of the brow i don't know i wish i wish the one end wasn't a spoolie i don't really need a spoolie in this case so here's the patrick ta eyebrow pencil i apparently put it with the lip liners there okay so this one seemed like very little product in it just like a very tiny very flimsy kind of thing I, I it's had high ratings so again this has a very oh oh broke right away there's a bad thing right there i don't like a, a too soft up of, of a pencil whereas my my benefit precisely my brow is is not this soft and doesn't break off easy i would say twist very little up you know this is why i didn't like the huda beauty brow pencils you guys because they as nice as and fine as the tip was and i love the, the the pencil but they it kept breaking off and it, it had very little product by the time you get it out and use it once like you know, you've gone through half the thing um and then i bought two colors of the better than sex eyeliner from Too Faced cosmetics and this one is the chocolate liner which 
Actually, I, I'm very happy with it because a lot of the times when you get a, a brown eyeliner, it looks almost black anyway, you guys. There's not much of a difference, whereas this one is actually truly chocolate brown, okay? Um, so I don't know if you guys can actually see it. It's actually very much a chocolate brown. Um, it's, I don't know if it's showing you. Um, eyeliner, which I really am happy with. And it's got the nicest, thinnest brush. I only, I only like brush tip eyeliners. I don't like the felt tip. It, they don't do a good, very good job, the felt tip ones. And here is the black version of it. I also got the black, obviously. I mean, I don't even know if I need to swatch this, but it's it's black. So it this is it like in pink. I don't know. That one's chocolate. This, this one is pink, you'd think. There you go. Now you can see the difference. There's black and there's brown. You can tell the difference. Um, it would look really beautiful. The brown one, I'm very excited. I don't have a brow, brown, properly brown eyeliner. So, okay. So that's all the eye products. So let me get to the lip products because I bought, apparently I went crazy, crazy with the lip products, you guys. I already have so much lip products, you guys. That's what I have the most of. I have an insane amount of lipsticks, lip glosses, lip this, lip that. But there are some new products I just couldn't pass up on. For example, these new Charlotte Tilbury Kissing Lip Formula shades that just came out right here. This is 90s pink. Oh, is this the 90s? No, this is the crimson one. This one is the Night Crimson. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, I mean, I swatched this all at this, um, the Sephora store oh my god it has like a beautiful little shine and this looks really like a dark plummy crimson like reddish crimson plum Ugh. and then i also got is this the other kissing formula one let me see yeah um i know yeah it is okay so this is the 90s pink they call it this one um so let me show you 90s pink next to the crimson that's called 90s pink and there's one shade that's I really want that's sold out. It was sold out before the sale. It's still sold out. It is the was it the red carpet pink or something. And then Charlotte Tilbury also came out with new shades in her matte formula. What what does she call her? A matte revolution lipsticks. Um, so she came out with new shades, and I really have been eyeballing this one. Oh my God! Look at that component. I love how she change the component color for this and this one is you guys called cinematic red this is so gorgeous look at that it's right there oh my gosh i am so excited to try this one on it's like this beautiful beautiful almost like a soft matte finish i don't think the camera is doing justice to this shade you guys i cannot wait to go on a hot date wearing that lipstick. And then I told you guys that I was gonna get a lot of the new YSL formula. So the new YSL Love Shine lipsticks. So this is a formula that existed before you guys, but they reformulated or rebranded it or both. Um, so the new name is Love Shine lipsticks. So I have two shades here from it. So I have shade number 209 and then I have shade number 122. So let me show you 122. So one of them is called um, something caramel swirl. Is this the caramel swirl? I don't think so. I think this is not it. Um, you know, swatching can be a challenge when you have so many things to charge, uh, swatch. Look at that. Look at that. This is supposed to be an oil lip oil in a stick do you do you see that that is so beautifully hydrating that looks so yummy i could just i can't wait to wear these i think this is the caramel swirl okay this is the 122 caramel swirl i am very excited about that shade in particular and this one is uh, number 209 pink desire so i got a kind of caramelly shade and a pink shade oh by the way these have a light pink band, whereas the candy glaze ones that I'm about to show you, and these twist up 
because these are lip oils in a stick whereas candy glaze ones are lip gloss in a stick so you, it, it actually clicks up oh, you'll see the difference here in a minute when I show you the other formula so this is the pinky one right there and that's the caramel swirl I love both of them I'm so happy I picked these two particular shades I think I chose well um, and then uh, I got two of the the candy glaze lip sh lipstick shades I think now I have every single one of the candy glaze lip lipstick shades now you see the difference that one was light pink the band and this is like the hot pink band that you get for the the um okay now do you see how shiny that is that is like a lip gloss and a stick these are the ones that click up do you hear the click yeah so that's because it's in a it's essentially like a lip gloss in a stick so it needs to be clicked up uh oh can't twist my hand there anymore uh this looks so glassy and beautiful right there um i love this formula so much i go through them like crazy i've actually emptied several of these um what what shade was that i don't know so this is nude pleasure yeah this is a replenish item because i i had nude pleasure i ran out so i had to get nude pleasure i love this color it's kind of like a caramelly uh nude um right there that one right there so pretty very kind of warm nude which i love 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 so yeah i love both of the formulas the the lip oil in a stick which is love shine and then the volupte ones which are the candy glaze uh, lipsticks uh, they're awesome too okay so i then got this charlotte tilbury actually i should have mentioned that when i mentioned the charlotte tilbury ones this is the new charlotte tilbury pillow talk big lip plump gas gasum everything has to be a gasum for her i have no idea with the orgasm and this gas everything is a gasum both Charlotte Tilbury and look at this um, this is like a thick fat one <laughs> I don't know and um, and guys people are making fun of this um, little thing here yeah you you know anyway so this one um, right here I think this is supposed to be this is a very shy, high shine lip gloss obviously but this is supposed to be plumping I think so I don't think Charlotte's had plumping lip glosses before has she maybe this is her first one very excited to try that so this comes in like a couple of shades so it's for like light medium there's a shade and then medium dark and I got the medium dark one not because I can't wear the light medium too if I wanted to but I just like this shade better and then we have the Fenty Beauty one of those uh, Fenty lip glosses which I love the gloss bomb okay yeah this like really super interesting uh, party shade that I've been eyeing for a while. Sometimes she comes up with these really like fun shades. Um, so right there, the really hot pink one that's shining right in the middle there, right there. That's the one. I like it. Like it's it's just a very fun, very fun kind of limited edition shade. Um, so yeah, so I got one of those from Fenty. And then I have two Merit lipsticks, you guys. These are the matte finish ones. Oh my God these two shades are to die for and i have heard so many good things about these merit lipsticks that i have to get my hands on and you guys know i've talked about merit on my channel before um and by the way i like the component um so yeah i i know merit already to be a very good uh, brand they are very kind of minimalistic um sort of clean girl aesthetic type of brand now this shade is called equestrian it's like a chocolatey nudie brown that is absolutely divine i actually got this lipstick formula just to get these two shades almost and of course i knew it was really good formula and i wanted to try it anyway but my god and this one is called let me it has a very interesting name what is it called antibes so this one is called antibes so there's antibes and there's equestrian this is like a nudie color. Oh, that's so both so divine on my skin complexion. Just imagine you guys, just how cute that's gonna look on me. Very, 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 very excited about this. And these um, feel very soft and really beautiful. Like they're like a soft matte, obviously. You know, they, all the brands are going for soft matte now, you know, like that kind of 
has almost like a pouty effect, you know, with that not drying at all. I told you guys I was going to buy the new Tarte Maracuja line new lip vinyls and this is like a new uh, formula they came out with. I mean, I love the lip plums too, but oh my gosh, so this is the new component, kind of like a lavender component. Um, so you just, I, I gotta say, I don't like this click up thing. I wish it was a twist. I mean, it can still click up, but like it needs to be a twist uh, instead of a push. Okay, look at that. That looks like vinyl for sure. You know, very glass lip look. I love these. I go through this like water. Again, this is another formula I keep like emptying and throwing in the empties. And then I forgot to recommend these in my recommendations video. This is very kind of similar to the Tarte Maracuja. These are the Hourglass, um, what are these called? Phantom Lip uh, Gloss in a Stick. This is all that lip gloss in a stick concept, you guys. And this, however, unlike the Maracuja ones by Tarte, they actually twist up, see? They don't click up. So I'm gonna actually swatch it right next to the Tarte one so you can see the difference. So there is the hourglass one right here on the top and that's the vinyl. So you can see the vinyl has slightly more glass effect than the hourglass, but the hourglass has a very soft, smooth kind of formula. Um, I love it. I got it in the shade, I believe Slip and uh, Haze are the two shades that I got. So here's Haze, I think this is Haze. That one was Slip, I think. Haze is one of my favorite colors from this um, formula. Um, so there is Haze right there. I kind of swatched it horizontally or vertically, as I should rather. Yeah, so love that formula by Hourglass. I love like the nice glassy, glass looking lips, you guys. And I also love a good pouty, soft matte look as well. Oh, here's my second uh, lip vinyl shade. This is in the shade Lotus, I think. Sheer Lotus, yeah. So there are some Sheer Lotus, Sheer Iris, all these. I ordered also Sheer Iris and more shades. They're still on the way. So some of these items, the reason why I received most of them right away because I placed the same day delivery. I paid the fee like $6.95 or whatever and I had the same day delivery. I got them the very next day. But the rest of them, the ones that are still coming are the ones that weren't available in whatever, from whatever the warehouse or the location it was coming from, my rest of the order was coming from. So these had to be shipped from like the headquarters or whatever. So those are the ones that are still on the way. Look at that Lotus one. Oh my God, I love it. Let me swatch it right next to this hourglass one here. So it's this one right up here, the sheer Lotus, isn't that pretty? It's like this most ethereal, beautiful little like sheer pink Whew, so beautiful it'll be perfect for a no makeup look too you know very very beautiful everyday kind of beautiful look um and then this one these are two um of the sephora brand lip pencils i really hate how they like individually wrap this stuff you guys instead of putting it in a carton like other people like these are really hard to remove like it's like welded shut Okay, um, so let's swatch it here on my hand. So there is, it's like a beautiful kind of nudie chocolate. I'll list down below, you guys. All these products will obviously be listed down down below. Okay, so this one is, well, the chocolate, I don't know. You get the idea. This is like a lighter brown. Um, th those are very hard to get out of the the thing. Um, okay, so the last lip product I have left here is Clarence Lip Comfort Oil in number three. I heard so much about good things about this Clarence Lip Oil. I had to try it. This is the cherry shade. It's called Cherry Something. So let me swatch it right there and I'll show you right there. Isn't that beautiful? It's a really very glass finish like there. That's a beautiful color. Uh, it's, I think the shade is cherry, right? It's called number three in cherry. Yep, yeah, number three cherry is the shade. I love a good cherry shade. I love a good cherry perfume. Oh, and then I have another lip product here, more like a skincare product, Glow Recipe Lip Balm or Lip um, Mask, rather. Um, so this had super good reviews. Um, so here is the consistency, what it looks like. 
I wanted to try something different from the Laneige sleeping lip mask. Uh, had good reviews and Glow Recipe is a good brand I really wanted to try. The Glow Recipe lip balm is actually supposed to be a hyaluronic acid lip balm. I don't know how much of, I mean it's going to be moisturizing for sure with hyaluronic acid. Um, but I don't know like to what extent um, and how good it's going to be. Okay, now we're moving on to hair products. I got to speed this up you guys because I have sunscreen and then I have like fragrances. Okay. So this one is the new Sol de Janeiro Milky Leave-In Conditioner. I heard so many good things about it. I heard that this smells like divine. I don't know how to like, I don't wanna break it. Anyway, gosh, I'm gonna just open it. Oh, this smells like, exactly like the Brazilian Bom Bom Cream and the, the, the Foreplay Shower Cream. This is really gonna be a really good leave-in hair conditioner and I'm gonna smell delicious. Okay, then I got two of the two. I got one and like I got a backup two. Things are falling off my table here. Of the the Color Wow Money Mask. This stuff is so good. I don't know what's in here. It like leaves the skin so healthy, shiny, and like the moment you put it in your hair, you guys, if you, you had like really tangled, really dry damaged hair, it just kind of like fall into, fall, untangle and fall like when you put this in the sh like in your hair in the shower and it, it looks like this really like beautiful kind of aqua color mask I oh, love this stuff um, I go through it like water all the time so I had to get like a backup because I know I'm going to drink that thing my hair is gonna drink it rather and then I got this new product this is the the mist version of the money mask this is supposed to be like a like a leave-in um, conditioner. So it's very, apparently very uh, luxe, very light, glossy finish it gives apparently the hair. So I'm very, very excited there again. I don't know how to unlock this thing. Oh, oh, there's the lock right there. Just figured it out. The lock is up there. So let's see. Um, so this is supposed to give like a, I don't know if it's gonna show on camera. Per se, I'm gonna have to, of course, like use this for a few days and then I'll do, a, a review like when I do my what do you call it my uh, try on video on my other channel stay tuned for that and then I got another leave-in conditioner this is from the Kerastase Genesis line this, this is actually a heat protectant blow drying fluid so you I've been wanting another heat protecting styling thing for when I heat style my hair so this is the Kerastase one and this had really really Good review. I'm just gonna see what, how it smells. If it's ever sprays. Yeah, it smells very clean and beautiful. Um, so yeah, um, it's had rave reviews on Sephora. Okay, so on to body care. I got a backup of the Delicia Drench body cream, body butter from Sol de Janeiro. I already talked about this in my recommendations video. I'm not gonna take the time here. This is just a backup I wanted to get of this. This is actually a thicker in consistency as you can see than the other Sol de Janeiro products. Um, body butters I mean. Uh, this is so hydrating and it smells so divine. And I already talked to you about the nice fragrance layering combo that goes with this in my other video and many videos before so I'm gonna not gonna take time to do that. And then I have this new very exciting stuff Sol de Janeiro sun care products you guys right here these are the new Sol de Janeiro Rio Radiance SPF 50 sun stuff sunscreen stuff so this one is the Rio Radiance SPF 50 body lotion 100% mineral you know again I, I, I can't be it's not like I can be swatching this you know what I mean I'm gonna have to really try put this to the test and again I'll be updating how these performed in my, um, so this is what it looks like, a very tiny little spout, which I actually like. That will keep it from like, you know, getting like s s spilling out. So yeah, right there, a little dot right there. So it, it, because it's mineral, I'm a little worried that is it gonna have like a white cast? No, actually it doesn't. Okay, so this is 50 SPF, which is what I like to wear. Anything after 50 SPF is just 
BS, you guys, because it, the highest SPF that works is this 50. Anything higher than that is just a number. After that, it's the same, basically. Oh, I don't know what, what this little doohickey is. Um, I don't know. Something came like a little tool thing in there. I'll put it back there. I'll figure it out later. And this one is the Rio Radiance SPF 50 body spray. I like a spray because when I go to the beach, for example, I like to put like a lotion or a cream on before I go to the beach. And at the beach, I like to use a spray to renew every hour or so, which is what you're supposed to do. So this is, again, I mean, there's nothing to really show you guys. It's the spray version of that, really. There you go, there again. I'm gonna have to try these, you know, out and about um, and, and update you as to how well it protects you, my skin. And then this is the Rio Radiance SPF 50 body oil, which I'm very excited about. All these are really for in anticipation, in, in eager anticipation of my uh, upcoming summer vacation, which is gonna be something related to a beach, uh, on a beach. So this is the Rio Radiance body oil. Um, again, I got these all with beach in mind because this is gonna leave my skin looking so glowy. Problem with like the glowy oily products that you buy like all the shimmer oils and stuff you guys, they're not SPF. So you're wearing your sunscreen and you're putting that shimmer oils on top of it to look all goddess-like and bronze goddess-like but then all of a sudden that makes your sunscreen ineffective. Now this is like the dream come true. It is in a beautiful glowy like spray but it's SPF 50, right? Oil spray, I mean that is like the dream come true for the beach. Oh yeah, it's got a nice little radiance. You can't really see very well on camera. That camera is always cheating uh, us out of like a proper view of things. Um, anyway, I see the beautiful glow. Oh gosh, oh. I forgot to mention the scent. All these products smell like the Rio Radiance body cream and that line, which smells very solar, very suntan, lotion, bronze goddess-like. It has like white floral notes in here, you know, solar notes. Um, so yeah, very excited about it. Another sunscreen product, this is Super Goop Protect Tint. I don't know, it's like supposed to be a sunscreen tint. That's the point, daily SPF tint in SPF 50. So I got it in the shade 32N. So these come in different um, shades and it's supposed to be like a, a skin tint you can wear um, like on the beach. Like for example, if you're not wearing makeup, you can just wear this on your skin. You know what I mean? You don't wear really makeup to the beach per se. Some people do, but you know. Uh, this is like something you can just like wear on your skin, like on your face. This will be your foundation, which it isn't, it's a sunscreen, on your face. Um, you know when you go to the beach so yeah absolutely excited about these products some some tools I got two more of the Sephora brand sponges in my opinion these are even better than the these these are the beauty blender um, blenders and this is in this new lemon cello color so fell for the lemon cello shade you know Anyway, got another beauty blender, can't have enough of those. And then this is also by the Sephora brand, more makeup um, sponges. These are like a two mini, two mini ones. <sighs> Good Lord, it's like, why do they have to shut everything so like tight? I don't know. Okay, so again, two of the mini size uh, Sephora brand sponges, although these feel different from those, uh-oh. They're not, I don't think it's the same as this. These I love, I love these, these pink ones by Sephora. When you wet them, they're really soft and so awesome. I, I like them better than the beauty blenders actually. So, now for the fun part, the fragrances. So, I think I'm going to leave a couple of these fragrances to my other haul because I take a long time doing fragrances, you know what I mean? I think I will wait for these part two of the haul to talk about a few of these, but I will choose to talk about this. This one is so exciting to me. This is a new Killian one, you guys, and I didn't even know this was released. There was no news about this anywhere. This is these new um, fragrance by Killian. This is Sun Kiss Goddess. Who by, this is a, I, to my knowledge, Killian's first solar fragrance, okay? Like the first purely solar fragrance. So this was made with beach in mind, you guys. I'm telling you right now, I, I don't need to smell this now because I smelled this at Sephora. 
It's a solar fragrance. It's a gorgeous white yellow floral fragrance for beach, vacations for beach and all that. Again, I'm not going to give you a full review in this video because this will be talked about in one of my upcoming new release, fragrance releases video. I will talk more in depth in that video, but I will for now tell you, I am in love with this fragrance. It's definitely a sun-kissed goddess. Bronze goddess, sun-kissed goddess, kiss goddess, call it whatever you want. Uh, I don't even want to even spray it right now because Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This smells definitely has ylang ylang. I smell the ylang ylang. It has all these beautiful what tiari flower, you guys. You know how goddess like tiari flower is. It's one of the most intoxicating tropical goddess like fragrance notes to ever have existed. It has coconut. You get the idea, you guys. It's so oh my gosh. Divine goddess, drop dead goddess that fell from tropical goddess that fell from the heavens in the middle of the onto the middle of the beach. You know, okay, she's sunbathing. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. Okay, the more in depth review to come in a different video. Stay tuned. And then another new release. This is Good Girl Blush. No, I'm sorry. Carolina Herrera Good Girl Blush Elixir. So you guys know I have the Good Girl Blush. Here is the Good Girl Blush right here. And I already have it and this is the Good Girl Blush Elixir. And I sprayed this on my wrist, on one, my, one of my wrists and the, the original on the other wrist at Sephora. And I gotta say I like this more. Oh my God, I like this more. Okay, so let me tell you why in a minute. Mm. This just has something in here. So it's the same DNA, the, the DNA of the original Good Girl Blush is there. But there is something more heavenly, more sweet, more kind of like almost divinely fruity in here. Like an elixir for sure. Oh my gosh. This has definitely a bucket more vanilla. And you guys, not surprisingly, this also has ylang ylang. I think it's that beautiful ylang ylang and the bucket more vanilla is what makes this so much more beautiful. Again, a more lengthy review coming. So let me spray the original next to it. Again, yeah, the original is not as gorgeous as the elixir to me. Uh, some people may prefer the original more, I don't know, but oh my gosh, oh my gosh, they're both beautiful, but the elixirs for summertime, especially. I would say Good Girl Blush is for spring and the elixirs for summer. Um, they can both be worn in both seasons too, you know what I mean, but not cold months, for sure. All right, and then last but not least, I have Juliet Has A Gun, Juliet. This is the new Juliet Has A Gun. Cherry fragrance. You guys know how insanely in love I am with cherry fragrances. So let me show you. This is the cherry fragrance. This actually is very, very lovely, you guys. I tell you though, um, it is not what I expected it to be in a good way. Um, I expected it to have that typical you know, that cough syrup type cherry fragrance smell that you get the, with the synthetic cherry note that you can very, very distinctly tell. This is not smack you in the face obvious cherry fragrance at all. Let me tell you that much. Again, a more lengthy proper review is coming in a more dedicated video for new releases. Uh, I, I will talk about it in more detail in that one. Beautiful. It's a very kind of a light summer time type of cherry and you can smell the cherry a little bit but it's not too cherry like and it has like that Juliet has a gun DNA and it almost has smells to me like a cherry fragrance mixed with the lust for sun by the same brand a little bit because it has a little bit of that like slight call me crazy a little slight solar vibe I don't know but I'll get more in depth, uh, deep into what is all that. I'll figure it out why it smells like that. I haven't had it 
obviously more than like half a day in my hands so like give me sometimes I, I sometime I'll figure it out and I will talk more about it in the dedicated review and I think I'm gonna leave the last fragrance that I have here for the next haul guys I'm getting really long in this video stay tuned for part two of this Sephora haul coming up on this channel but also stay tuned for the try on version of this on my other channel also coming up down the line subscribe to both channels obviously so you won't miss them okay um, I hope you enjoyed this video you guys if you did please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel really helps me grow my community and ring the notification bell so you'll never miss any of my really really helpful videos and follow me on Instagram and TikTok and go on over to my other channel Cleo Lux Life and subscribe to that as well so you won't miss and ring the notification bell so you won't miss those uh, Sephora try on video and all the other stuff coming up. I will see you guys in my next video.